What's good, folks? Just thought I would share you guys a video of me playing Gears of War 2. Of the Horde mode. But however, this will be a Gears of War E-Day discussion. So, with that being said, let the Gears of War E-Day discussion begin. As I'm discussing Gears of War E-Day, this is only for the Gears of War players worldwide. And I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts and opinions about Gears of War E-Day. For me, for me, I would say that Gears of War E-Day would be amazing. And this is where they took us back in time when Marcus Phoenix and Dom Santiago were younger. Plus, this is a prequel to where this is like 14 years before the first Gears of War was released or maybe known to be 14 years before E-Day however you can put it and in the trailer where Dom saved Marcus I was in shock it was even and I was even more in shock when the Mad World song popped up because it reminded me of the saddest moment where Dom passed away in Gears of War 3. Whereas it's due to the fact that he sacrificed his entire life to save Marcus, Anya, Sam, and Dizzy. Also, of course, Chase. So it's like every time I hear that song, I always think of Dom's, de Dom's death in Gears of War 3. And it's crazy to witness that. Like, man. Though it is awesome to see Dom in the game again, so therefore I can't wait to dive in the story for Gears of War E-Day and see how the game will turn out to be once when it once when it releases. Now for the characters, we all see Marcus and Dom, but I'm also hoping that Baird, Coltrane, my all-time favorite character, which is my next favorite character, Anya, and the rest of the heroic characters, even the Carmines will appear in Gears of War E-Day game. Also, the evil locust creatures, you know, the wretches, and I know I know the drones, and also Queen Mira, but I'm not sure about her, so. Even the final boss, Gen General Rom, though I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, General Rom became the most difficult bosses to take down playing on the insane difficulty because it took me so many tries back then when I was playing on a, playing it on the Xbox 360. I mean I did everything I could to blast him on the insane difficulty until I'm able to deeply strategize on how I can on how I can beat him. Especially with the weapons I'm using. So other than that, I can't wait to hear the updates on the characters. So that, yeah, I cannot wait to hear the updates on the characters that's gonna return. So at this time, we'll just have to be patient. Also for the weapons. Now I know we've seen the retro lance in the trailer where Marcus uses it to blast the locusts to end the fight. And that's where the lancer is where you can charge at people and execute them. Also, my all-time favorite is the Lancer where you can chase all the hell out of everyone with so much blood splattered to the screen, etc, etc. Some of the weapons in Gears of War 4 and 5 I can roll with. Some, or should I say, a few. I wouldn't even touch them. Though I might give them a try. And that's the same with the weapons in Gears of War 3. So therefore, I'm hoping they can bring in the OG weapons that we all know and love to Gears of War E-Day. And also some of the weapons we've never seen before. I'm not sure if that would happen, but hey, we'll see about that. We will see. Now my, for, now my predictions, now for, for my predictions, okay, okay, wait. Now for my predictions, before I even throw it in.
Now, for my predictions, I can explain, but before I even explain my predictions, I just want to bring in my explanations about the downfall between, well, actually, the downfall for Gears of War 4 and 5. To be honest, I mean, I mean, they are pretty decent, especially in the campaign mode, though. Though I was kind of disappointed that Marcus Phoenix isn't playable in the campaign mode, or should I say, they never did keep Marcus Phoenix as the main playable character. Plus, they want to add in the new characters like JD, Kate, Dale, and more others in the mix. But I think the only good thing about the campaign mode for Gears of War 4 that I enjoy is the, is the epic prologue. So at this point, the campaign tends to be decent, though it could have been better, in my humble opinion. Now for Gears 5 for the campaign mode, in my opinion, is really disappointing. Maybe kinda. But I mean like why would you make the remainder of the storyline all about Kate after we play as JD and still have Marcus Phoenix as one of the side characters? Like why? Last time I checked, Gears of War 3 did it better in my book, whereas you start the game off with Marcus Phoenix. Then the next thing you take over is the cold train. Definitely my all time favorite, as I can tell y'all once again. <laughs> and afterwards, you switch back to Marcus Phoenix and continue to play as him until the end. Now that is what you call epic right there. But Gears 5, however, couldn't do that. And that lets me know the OG Marcus Phoenix is being disrespected. Then the next section is where we have to make a choice on who to save, which became a big letdown. So, other than that, I'm gonna be moving on to my predictions. My predictions for Gears of War E Day is I really hope they don't add in the open world like how they did Gears 5, because Gears of War is really not an adventure game. In fact, it clearly isn't. Also, remove all the roll rides and some of the terrible weapons, man. Because I know usually the versus mode is always brought in, which is a good thing. Also, bring back my all-time favorite, the horde mode. Because that's the mode I play a whole lot, along with beast mode as well. So at this moment, I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of changes going on, especially for Gears of War E-Day. When all this happens, everything should be back to its original Gears of War form. Because we had our ups and we had our downs. We had our best, we had our worst. So, so Gears 5 had been released for 5 years. Though multiplayer wise, I enjoyed Gears of War 2 through 5 regardless, so I shouldn't be tripping. Nah, I shouldn't be worried at all. So, just when we all thought, just we're all gonna witness that we're gonna have a Gears of War 2 and 3 remastered trailer, we've been hit with a Gears of War E Day trailer. And that truly brought a smile to my face. Cause you know we've been waiting for an awesome Gears game for the past few years. And now, we're finally here. Also, there's still no announcement for Gear 6. But if they were going to make an announcement for Gear 6, I'm just going to hope they would try it for the better. As they should clean up all the mistakes they made for Gears 5. Even though I love it. Other than that, I'm definitely hyped up for Gears of War E-Day. Like, for real. <laughs> I am so excited for it. Now for the release date, I can predict that it will release for the next two years. Where well, the first Gears of War was released in November 7th, 2006. To make it a 20 year anniversary. As it should release in November 7th, 2026. But I could be wrong. So I want to know y'all predictions on when Gears of War E-Day should be released and y'all prediction for Gears of War E-Day on how the gameplay should be. 
in the comment section. So other than that, y'all, that's that's my thoughts and opinions about Gizwood E Day. And also, I want to know if y'all hate for Gizwood E Day. If so, we're gonna have so much fun, and this will be something to look forward to playing in the future. So at this time, I know Gears of War 2 or the horror mode is still rolling, so I'm just going to end this note where I can say Gears of War E-Day, we're ready to have a blast once one of the releases. So with that being said, I'm through talking. I'll let y'all watch, the, I'll let y'all watch the rest of the gameplay. So, that being said, y'all, I'm out. Hey, come
Incoming egg! We got here!
can't wait to smash heads. Good to go.
is next.
way through the pain! Whoa! <laughs> 
gonna hurt ya! Raja! Probably seems fair, huh? This will do.
Time to get messy. Oh, you won't be needing this.
Move out! Good to go. on the fire side. He's coming to your house right now. He's all the way off on the Yeah. 
Good to go. Got him. I'm out. Hold up! I'm not done with you! I got it! Take those. Got him. Yeah, yeah. Lock and load. 
Idiot! to get messy. Whoa. 
grenades are up. In your face!
Sweet. Ah, get back here. Where you going?
where you land. Yeah. Revive me! Come on, you through! What are you doing? Whoa. Do I look like Me my back. Of course. Can't stop this. Dibs.
bucket goes in so easy. Hey, I can't shoot through you. Oh, 
always use more. <laughs>
Oh, what's the matter? Not feeling good?
Nice!
in your face! Yeah, I'm gonna hurt you! baby.
straight through the pain! Thank you, fellas.